I cut by this big old tree, Billy. Oh, let's see. Build a suspense. Ready? Yeah. So I just dug a fired, uh, I believe it's going to be a Civil War mini ball. So you got the grooves in it right there. It's definitely, definitely been fired. It's all mashed on the end. So nice little find. Doesn't mean there was a camp here, but they were shooting over here for some reason. There are people or food. Maybe an old chicken. This is kind of neat right here. I wanted to share this with you guys. Look at this tree here. It looks like an old drop bear climbed up there, scratching all the way up it. It's a line of bark goes all the way up through there. You can see it up on the very tip. and comes right down to here. And what this is, what you're looking at right here, right here, is the track of a lightning bolt. The lightning hit that tree way up on top and came right down the trunk right through here so it was grooved out that's where that super hot gases were right in here blasting its way down through the moisture in that tree and into the ground right there and blew out all this bark look at that big chunk of bark and right there too i mean that's actually part of the that's part of the hard tree too uh yeah so if we were standing here when that lightning bolt hit guess what we'd be dead but we weren't so we're not so I stand here looking at this, talking about this tree right here, this lightning bolt tree. The lightning bolt hit and came down and I was putting my camera away and I looked over there. Look at that. Over in that tree where I'm pointing, there's like an owl or a turkey or something stuffed up in, up in it. You can see wings hang, a wing hanging over. So something weird's going on because earlier, uh, when we first started out here in this woods, I remarked to Billy, that there's like a lot of dead birds out here big ones you know like buzzards and stuff and i'll be a monkey's uncle if that's not like a hawk or something right there let's go and take a look at it see what kind of bird that is maybe he got struck by this lightning bolt so let's just walk over here check this out maybe there's a big old sam squanch out here and that's where he stuffs his food that's like an owl or something isn't that weird No water moccasins or rattlesnakes in here. Hey, isn't that bizarre? Something stuffed them up there. Torrent me. Button. Oh wow, that's a beauty right there. A shank right there in the middle. Yeah. Doesn't have an eagle on there? No. You sure? No. It does have a design around the yeah. sides, doesn't it? That's I thought it was no nice, cattle man. tag at first. Very nice, man. Congratulations. It's got a nice big old, uh, I thought it was a coin, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be a button of some sort. Yeah, this is a broken off shank right there. Boy, it almost looks like it might have a design on it, but it's really crusty. So we're going to scratch this a little bit to get a little bit of that crust off. We can get a gander at it. Hmm. And boy, I tell you, it's rough looking on the front, but I think that's just natural. I'll get a picture of that for you in the end. And we'll take a peek at it. So I'm getting into an area where the, the iron's starting to pick up. And I just found a piece of a cooking pot. So we might be on a home site here. We're getting close to one, I hope, anyway. Yes, indeed. I called Billy already, so he should be on his way. And we'll scour this area. Well, unfortunately, it's starting to rain a little bit. But we're a long way from the truck. So, well, <laughs> we're going to get wet. Had a really cool find right here. Just found this. This is a uh, shotgun shell. And it's a reloadable kind. It's uh, brass all the way up to the top. This was meant to be taken home and reloaded. I think these are pretty old, like turn of the century or something. So you very seldom find these, especially whole ones. That's pretty cool right there. I'm happy with it. I just dug a whole uh, rifle cartridge. Imagine that's going to be a 30-30. Yes, indeed, 30-30 Winchester. Probably could still fire that bad boy. What do you think? Should we give it a shot? <laughs> no pun intended. That's a big old button. That's a dandy. Yeah, dandy. Wow, that thing's awesome. Can I look at it? Yeah. That thing is freaking awesome, dude. <clears throat> Find that up there behind you? Yeah. And you found this too? Yep. That is a buckle. Hmm, I guess it's a shoe, but it's a little small, but it's solid silver. Did you hit that? Yeah. 
unfortunately. Sure? Yeah, I've Dude. got I've got the other end of it in my pocket. Yeah, I thought that hit him too. So man, that's a heavy one, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Solid silver buckle, man. Colonial buckle. That's freaking awesome. And guess what? You find it right where I found that pot shard earlier. That big cooking pot shard. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, we're gonna look around now. Just me and Billy. I see it. <laughs> it's a nice little flat button. Still got the shank on it, which is pretty awesome. And Billy said he just got a piece of pewter over there. Very nice. Another buckle. Oh yeah, that's nice. Brass. Got a mm -hmm. Iron tongue. Yep. Very nice. And you got a symbol too, right? Yep. Very nice. Well, here's what we've discovered in the last few minutes. We're still in the area where uh, Billy found that shoe, uh, the silver shoe buckle, and I found the part charge and buttons. Right here, I noticed coming up the hill that there were some oyster shells. So this is like a trash midden right here. I'm actually in the middle of digging a target. Uh, tons of nails in here. And if you look, there's also some bricks. So this is right where the house is at. It's a big old brick. I think it's a monster. So the chimney is right in here, and the house is right in this this area and that's why we're finding the stuff now, a little further out in the woods a scatter of iron just drops off really fast so i don't think his house is very big or lived in for very long uh, but it's got some really good stuff in it i mean whoever was here had yeah. definitely had money because it had a beautiful silver shoe buckle like up by this big old tree billy nice little button oh let's see build a suspense ready yeah ready? oh yeah Silver button. That's gonna be a pretty one, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. This dude had some money. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. Maybe he dropped some gold coins. I hope so. Yeah. We're gonna find it's them. It's awesome, dude. <laughs> Cleaning up on the silver today. We sure are. Very nice. All right, let's get back at it. I found some silver. Yeah, but it's a, I think it's just a balloon. Oh. <laughs> that looks like you jerk. <laughs> just dug this little doodad. I um, think it's melted. And uh, Billy's been digging some melted lead. So this might be lead, but it almost looks very silvery, actually. It feels heavier than lead to me. I could be wrong, but, I mean, this could be something that was in the house. Uh, that melted when the house burned down, if it indeed did. And I suspect it did, since we're finding some melted stuff. So that could be melted silver. I'll have to take a closer look at that. It's really, it's really hard. It feels harder than lead. Nice. Yeah, this is a nice one. This is, I think it's going to be a button, a domed button. Not like a military, no design on it, but it could be a front tack. And stuff in the back, it looks like it's probably, like, I don't know. You know, that might actually be the backing right there. Might be a bone back on it. I'm not sure. Yeah, okay. It's flaking a little bit. I think there's some things going across here, so it's probably... Some type of furniture decoration, I would guess. It's almost like a letter or something right there, but I doubt that is. But we'll clean it up and uh, take a closer look at it later. I believe I have a tool that they use to make lumber with. Or build houses. Or it's not a chisel. Got the open end on it. So like a handle would go mm -hmm. in there? That's a nice one. That's probably 1700s right along with the rest of the stuff we're finding. Oh yeah, no doubt. Yeah. <clears throat> That's a cool find right there. I thought it was another silver button the way it rang up. Yeah, yeah, they can sound really good. That's a nice tool right there. Um, you also got like a piece of a saddle um, decoration too down in there. I didn't get a, any video of it yet, but I'll definitely get a picture before we go. Billy down there, so we just dug that uh, woodworking tool. And I got a big iron signal here, so I'm going to start digging some of the big signals too. And I believe that's going to be a grubbing hoe. Yeah, that's what it is. That is a hoe that the um, would use to dig the weeds out of fields and stuff and prepare them for planting. That's actually a pretty cool one right there. I'd love to save that, but I don't know if I'm going to. It, might, it looks like it's pretty far gone as far as having some uh, bad rust on it. You know, that really deep rust on it. That's a beauty right there for sure. We're working our way back to the truck. We're getting ready to quit for the day, but I'm out in the field where we had found some stuff on uh, previous hunts. And I just dug this little doodad, which is one of those like leather decorations. Bent over, that would go into leather and bend over. There'd been two of them on this piece. And um, yeah, the 1700s all day long. Sweet stuff right there. Take the ring from your hand and bury it in the 
sand and keep it for eternity. Mother Earth, she's got her secrets she's promised to keep hidden in her dirt or deep in her creek. Mother Earth, she ain't saying exactly what she's saving, where it is or what it might be. Mother Earth, you are my lady, my big round baby. I'll rock you until I go to sleep. She don't care if you're dying or if you're living or somewhere in between. Mother Earth,